Hey everybody, Misco Electric here. Often when people ask me about electric cars, I can explain the benefits and usually convince them that an EV is the better machine. Where it starts to get complicated is when we talk about charging. Now most EVs come with a standard level one portable charger that you can plug into any wall outlet. But if you need or want a faster charge, an installed charger becomes a necessity. That can be like opening a can of worms. While in this video, I'm not gonna cover the whole issue, I do wanna cover some information about installed charging stations, including one from a small charging station supplier called Cyber Switching, who sent me this CSE one to review. And I can tell you right now, I learned an awful lot from working with these guys. And I'm gonna share it with you. On this channel, we've explored the headquarters of the largest charging networks, including Electrify America and ChargePoint. We've sat down with their executives to learn about their business models, handling user access and revenues. I was also the first to unbox the Electrify home station, and I thought I had a solid understanding of how this industry works. Now I realize that selling hardware and reselling electricity per kilowatt hour are just the tip of the iceberg. Utility company incentives for install and peak power scheduling deferment, plus government carbon offset credits are a tremendous hidden economy. I'll get into the weeds more in a separate video. My point here is there are many charging hardware and software options depending on the use case. For many charging station installations, the choice boils down to a simple wall charger or an internet connected smart charger. The cyber switching CSC one can be configured to be either of those. Let's plug it in and see how it works. Inside the box, you'll find instructions for installing the hardware and configuring the software and the unit itself. The packaging is sufficient, but no frills. As far as I understand it, cyber switching only offers this color combination. Cyber switching sells single and double sided pedestals for those who prefer that to wall installation. The cable is 18 feet long and is quite flexible on this 80 degree day. The J1772 connector is made from a hard and inexpensive plastic. It does feel durable, but it does not feel premium or rubberized like some others we've reviewed. The hardware is simple with one LED light, which indicates readiness, active charging, or faults with various blinking sequences to communicate specific warnings. All right, I'm here at a commercial building and I've already mounted the wall plate here. You'll wanna mount your wall plate close to a place where you have access to electricity. So right down here, I have a connection for a NEMA 1450. This charger actually comes either with a hard wire or an option for a NEMA 1450 plug-in. The hardwired version, which should be installed by an electrician, can accept 60 amps, delivering 48 to the vehicle. The DIY-friendly NEMA 1450 plug-in version accepts 50 amps and pushes 40 amps through to the vehicle, which is typical. The station is very lightweight. It's also water and dust resistant, and you can use this inside or outside. On the underside of this charging station, you'll see one that connects to your electricity and then the other that connects to the J1772. This middle one here is actually a port for Ethernet so you can plug in directly. These units can be configured from the manufacturer to be completely open, meaning they'll work for anyone and do not require an internet connection. While they might function as a home charger, the $990 to $1,190 price tag is not competitive with options like those from Autel or Tesla, which are easier to set up. The station we received required some configuration to set up user authentication services. That meant we had to get it connected to the internet and set it up in order to use it. We accessed the online dashboard configuration with our laptop and got some phone support from cyber switching to activate the two RFID cards. We decided to configure that station for unlimited free use, but it looked fairly easy to set up paid access. I could see RFID cards being useful in multifamily or workplace charging environments. Ours came with two, but they are inexpensive and can be ordered in bulk. Now for the moment of truth. I plugged in the connector into my car, then tapped the RFID card to the station. That beep told me the card had been read. 
success. All right, as you can see here, I'm charging at 35 miles per hour. I have full access to the 48 amps. Looks like 229 volts. So we're in good shape. Amp Up is the operating system and charging ecosystem set up on our CSE1 by default. It offers several tiers of paid service which scale to operations of various sizes. It works well for small commercial properties like coffee shops or Airbnb hosts who would like to collect revenue with a station or two. It can scale up to hundreds of stations throughout a campus, city, or many different locations. The dashboard makes it easy to add or remove users, adjust rates, and check on the status of sessions and hardware uptime. The mobile app for EV drivers is available for Android and Apple and works across many stations on the Amp Up network all over the country. It shows where the stations are, allows users to reserve stations, starts and stops sessions, and facilitates payment. For the advanced software designers out there, the CSC1 is built on an older version of the Open Charge Point protocol, which opens a world of flexibility if you prefer a different network solution than Amp Up. The CSE1 is not UL certified, but it is UL tested. It is ETL listed and Energy Star certified. This device also has a two year warranty. All in all, the CSE1 is a highly configurable commercial solution, which seems like it would shine in a larger scale business operation or multifamily properties. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. Until next time, Drive, fly, ride, go electric. <laughs>